in this video we'll see how to add uh, how to check the dimensions of the board or the distance between components what we'll do is we'll take this option we'll select this option dimension and we select the dimension layer we'll click at this point so right now it is selected at this point and i drag it down all the way till here because this is the point where i want and i extend it so this shows me 51 and we know our unit is millimeters so we now know that from this point to this point the total distance is 51 millimeters similarly we can do for this end it's 54 millimeters we can now select it between different components we go here we select this point and we come here we select this point this is 17 millimeters we can also use similar tools uh, to check how much let's say we want a board of a particular dimension say 45 by 45 in that case it becomes important for us to know the dimensions and this tool really helps us in that case we can also design boards that are not rectangular or square in shape that can have different shapes for that what we'll do is we'll remove this dimension line or we can add another line we can add just a single line and we can add it as a dimension tool as a dimension so let's see let's see how it works what we'll do is this point we don't want a sharp 90 degrees edge we want a slanting line so we'll first remove this dimension sorry yeah uh, one point i want to show here is right now when we click remember this is the polygon that we had created for the ground port when i clicked here this gets selected if i right click on this oops i didn't want to yeah this one i wanted to delete now i want to delete this this is selected i click the right click button and the dimension gets selected and i click on it, it gets deleted now I take this tool, you see this is too wide right now, I will bring it down, I will select this here, this looks fine, I take this from here, go all the point, let's say, till here, and I end it here. Now we'll do a rat's nest again. So you see, this has come as an angle now, but we still have this little extra copper here. How do we? Why is it there? It's because the polygon that we had created was a square of this shape. So we'll sorry. We'll select that. We have two options, we can first delete it, we need the bottom layer as well, ok, and delete it. Now we can create another polygon here with the same specifications, we start from this point, the dimensions, I want it at the top layer, I go to this point, I follow these dimensions basically. I select right angle so that I don't have to click everywhere and I click here now I go ahead and give it a name I give it DND crown now when I rest nest you see we have the ground pore in this shape similarly we can have any form of bow we can have a uh, weird shape we can have it in star shape we can have it in a cross shape or a round or whatever we want we don't need this number now let's delete this let's delete this as well and we'll add a ground pole for the bottom layer as well we'll, we'll take polygon we'll select the bottom layer we'll start from here we'll select the angle
now we take the name and we name it and so we want this yes we name it ground we write nest it and we have both the layers with ground pores so that is how we add ground pores uh, to the boards and also create different shapes of boards